Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to apply gradients to strokes in Illustrator CS5. Now as you may know this feature was added in CS6, so it's a bit hard to do in CS5 but indeed it is possible as you see in these pictures right here. So you're going to learn how to make three different types of gradients applied to strokes. You can have gradients that go across the entire stroke as if it's an object. You can have gradients that go from the interior of the object outwards, so interior of the stroke outwards, so like this. And then we're going to do the hardest ones, and that's a gradient along an entire stroke. So from red to the blue on the center right there. So, let's get started. Now we're going to begin with gradients across strokes as if they're an object, so like this. The first thing we always have to do is we have to click our object, and this is just a spiral. You can create one by clicking on this box right here and going spiral tool. And it has a stroke of 18. And the first thing we do, we go to object and expand, and you need to expand the stroke. And this makes the stroke into an object. This is the workaround that you have to do in CS5. Now once this is an object, it's really simple. All you have to do is either I drop a gradient like that, or use your gradient tool and add whatever gradient you want to your object, just like that, which has a pretty cool effect. So that's pretty simple. Now, the next bit is gradients that go from the interior of a stroke outwards. And this is also fairly easy. Again, you start by clicking on your object. You go to Object, Expand, Expand the Stroke, as you always have to. Press OK. Now, the color that you see on the inside, this is the color that's going, this is going to be one of the colors that you're going to, going to go from. So we're going to start with a red. We'll blend it to a black or something. So all we do is we select our object, we go from Effect, Stylize, and then Inner Glow. And this box will pop up here. Now usually this will be stuck on a mode called Screen, or by default. If we press Preview, and we select the color, whatever color we want this red to change to, let's say, I don't know, a green, so it's quite striking. Okay, you see the color doesn't come out right. So you have to change this mode to normal. And if you change it to normal, turn on preview, suddenly our green color is there. Now we can reverse this by making the green go to the red, or the red going to the green by switching from center to the edge. And the amount of gradient is controlled by the blur that you have here. Also your opacity, you want it to be 100% to get this full color. If you drop it, you see that the color slightly fades. So we keep it at 100%. In the blur, we can just play with it of course, if it's very high, you get the full green, but if it's very low, you get a smaller gradient. And you would just adjust that manually to whatever you want. And there you go. Now, of course, there's always going to be a little bit of glow at the edges, but this is the best workaround that you can do in Illustrator CS5. Now, the last type of gradient is the most difficult, and that's a gradient along the entire stroke, from the beginning to the end of the stroke. What we do is we select our object, go to object again, expand the stroke, and now we have to expand our stroke. Now the next thing we do is we use the knife tool. The knife tool is right behind the eraser tool, we just click and hold here and go to the knife tool. And we're going to cut this up into roughly eight pieces, uh, aim for eight as you can. And what we want to do is we want to cut it where we have the stroke following a simple direction. So either this way, or up that way, or this way, or that way. But so long as it follows the direction. So we're going to cut it like this. So now we have roughly a flat surface here. This to here. And that's two cuts, so that's three segments. That's three cuts. Four cuts. Five cuts. Six cuts. Seven cuts and eight cuts. So now we have nine segments. After we do that, we select our object, right click and ungroup. And now we've effectively broken our object into little pieces. Now, after doing this, we're going to create our gradient just by selecting two colors. And I have a gradient already pre-made right here. I'm gonna move it down here. And we're gonna select our gradient and go into the gradient panel. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add eight color stops. And these color stops are going to be put at a location of 12.5, okay? So we're going to go 12.5, and we can multiply here by going 12.5 times. Oops. 
times one. I'm gonna select that so I can copy it. And okay. And so now we're gonna click again here and we're gonna put another one. So 12.5 times two, which is effectively 25%. And what this does, it gives us eight different color gradients, basically, like mini gradients across this entire uh, color scheme. So we click again, 12.5 times three, and we just keep doing this. Five times four, 12.5 times six, oops, that's 12.5 times five there, 12.5 times five, go 12.5 times seven, and there we go. Now we have all these stops, good. Now having done that, we're gonna apply this gradient to all of these, those shapes individually by using these stops right here. So we select our first object right here, and we press I, and we click on our object there. Now the first thing you know is that it's actually oriented the wrong direction. You see we go from blue to red, and we want to go from red to blue. So what we have to do is we have to change the angle here. And we simply change this to 180, which means that we go from right to left, okay? Zero is from, <laughs> zero is from left to right, 180 is from right to left, okay? And now, since this is the first block, all we do is we remove all of these little gradients, markers like this, and we stretch it across. And now there's a very subtle difference between basically this point to about 12.5% of this entire gradient along this line right here. So after that, we select our second object, we do that. And now we change the angle to 90 degrees because we are going upwards like that. Can we see, indeed it goes. And we're on the second marker here. So we just click and take off these little points right here. Like that, move this across like that. And we just apply it to the next thing. Now most of these are just gonna be red. We see now we don't have to change the color, the direction because it goes from right to left. So it's still at zero. And we're on the third marker. So that's our marker right there. We get rid of this. Click and drag. And yes, this is an annoying process, but this is the way to do it. So we select this object, again applied. And here to make going down, we go negative 90. Okay, and then this is the fourth marker right here, so we get rid of all of these. And we see now the color is starting to change. It's getting a bit darker. Oops, like that. And I think we already start to see the blues in the next. So that, this should be the fifth marker. So one, two, three, four, five. So we get rid of all of those. Like that. That. And we want to change the angle to 180. And now we're going to here. Once again, this is the six markers. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Move all these. Down there, down there. Across. And it's moving upwards. So we change the angle to 90. Click here. This is the seventh. So this would be it, that's the seventh, so we get rid of all of these. Okay, now we're in a proper purple, move it across. And the direction is correct at zero. Select the last bit. This is our eighth, this is our marker right here. So we get rid of all of them. Set you across. And now we finally have that blue color, and at the end, we can just select our object and give it the blue color at the end, like that. Ah, and I need to change the angle on here. You see, this doesn't work, so we go minus 90 right there. And there you have it. You have an entire gradient going along an entire stroke, just like that. So it is possible to do it in CS5. It's a little difficult, but it is, you can do it. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any comments, questions, or tutorial requests, please write them in the comments below. If you like the video, hit like. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button and check out our other videos. And as always, have a great day.